What if I told you, the universe might be thinking? Not metaphorically, not spiritually, but literally thinking, like a cosmic brain. Imagine the galaxies not just as clusters of stars, but as neurons, firing across a vast cosmic whip. Imagine dark matter acting like synapses, transmitting mysterious signals. What if black holes are memory storage units, and the expansion of space is thought itself unfolding? This isn't science fiction. It's a serious theory explored by physicists and neuroscientists. Because when we compare the structure of the universe to a human brain, the resemblance is haunting. So today, we're going to take you deep into the folds of the cosmic cortex, where reality and thought might just be the same thing. What if the universe is a giant brain, and we are living inside its thoughts? Stop. Just look. You're staring into deep space. But what if it's not just empty? What if it's thinking? Scientists once mapped the universe. Billions of galaxies stretched across unimaginable distances. Then they did something strange. They compared the cosmic map to the structure of a human brain. The result? They matched, not just in appearance, but in mathematical pattern. The way galaxies cluster and connect looks nearly identical to how neurons form networks in your mind. Across time and space, across unimaginable scales, the universe and your brain follow the same blueprint. A pattern too precise to ignore. And so, a forbidden question was born. What if the universe isn't just shaped like a brain? What if it is a brain? What if the cosmos itself is a conscious system? Thinking, evolving, dreaming? Could galaxies be neurons? Could dark matter be the connected tissue? Could reality itself be a thought? This is not science fiction. It's a real hypothesis. One that challenges everything we know about existence, identity, and the nature of thought. Because if the universe is thinking, then what are we? Are we the thoughts? Are we the neurons? Or are we just beginning to wake up inside the mind of something far, far greater? The question isn't, is the universe alive? The question is, what if it always has been? A neuron is a spark, a single pulse in a network of trillions. Now look at a galaxy, billions of stars orbiting a massive black hole, gravity pulling them together, energy flowing through its arms like electric current. One galaxy. Now multiply that by two trillion, each one drifting in space, each one glowing, each one connected. In your brain, neurons pass information through electrochemical signals. They don't work alone. They fire in patterns, networks. In the universe, galaxies don't drift aimlessly. They form clusters, linked by invisible strands, filaments made of dark matter. Together, they form the cosmic whip. And the density? Incredible. The number of galaxies in the observable universe is roughly equal to the number of neurons in the human brain. Coincidence? Or cosmic intention? Some scientists now believe that dark matter acts like the brain's white matter, forming unseen connections, transmitting information, balancing forces. And when galaxies collide, merge, or transfer energy, they behave not unlike neurons exchanging information through synapses, patterns, signals, networks, communication. This isn't just poetic thinking, it's data. The universe may not be random. It may be processing something. And if that's true, then every galaxy is a neuron in a brain we can't comprehend. A brain that spans time. A brain that evolves over billions of years. A brain that might be aware. If galaxies are neurons, and the universe is the brain, what thoughts has it already had? And what thought is it having right now? Zoom out far enough and the universe reveals its deepest secret. It's not chaos. It's not random. It's a structure. A system. A web. The cosmic web. Billions of galaxies, arranged like pearls on threads of invisible matter, dark matter, 
strands stretching across the void, connecting clusters, dividing space into massive cells, voids and bridges. But what makes this so haunting is that it looks exactly like a brain's neural network. Zoom into the brain of a mouse. Now zoom out of a galaxy cluster. You can't tell which is which. The same branching. The same filaments. The same elegant logic of connection. In the brain, signals travel across networks of neurons. The stronger the connection, the brighter the activity. In the universe, clusters of galaxies gather at the intersections of filaments, bright, active, energetic. Where galaxies flow into nodes, heat builds. Radiation increases. They light up. Exactly like neural firing, the brain processes thought through structure. Could the universe process something else through this massive cosmic web? Could these filaments be highways for information? Energy? Consciousness? Even more disturbing is this. The cosmic web is expanding. Not shrinking. Not dying. It's growing. Just like a developing brain. As new connections form, the web becomes more complex. More active. More. Intelligent? Some physicists believe we are looking at a living system. A system large enough to host a kind of cosmic consciousness. Not in one place, but everywhere. At once. So maybe, this isn't just structure. Maybe it's thought, frozen in the shape of the universe. And we? We are trapped inside a neural network too vast to see. In your brain, memories are stored in patterns. Tiny chemical shifts electrical trails. You don't see them. But they're there, encoded deep inside. Now imagine the universe trying to store memory. Where would it keep its past? The answer might be terrifying. Black holes. Mysterious. Silent. They swallow everything. Light, matter, energy, time itself. Nothing escapes. But here's the twist. According to quantum physics, Information is never truly lost. No matter what falls into a black hole, some part of it remains. Some imprint. Some echo. Encoded on the event horizon. This idea is called the holographic principle. It suggests that everything that ever enters a black hole, every atom, every signal, every particle, is written onto its surface. A perfect record. A cosmic archive not erased. Remembered? Just like the brain, which compresses life into electrical memories, the universe may compress its entire history into the skin of a black hole. Every star that died, every galaxy that collapsed, every burst of radiation, stored forever. And if black holes are memory banks, then the universe isn't just thinking. It's remembering. Across every galaxy, these dark spheres might be preserving the past. Not to relive it, but to learn. To evolve. Because no true intelligence exists without memory. And if the universe is a brain, then black holes are its memory cores. But here's the question no one dares to ask. What happens if one day it decides to forget? In the brain, thought takes time. One signal fires. Then another. Ideas unfold in sequence, flowing like ripples across neurons. Now, look at the universe. It's not still, it's not slowing down. It's expanding, faster, wider, accelerating into something we can't see. But why? Dark energy is the mystery scientists can't solve. It's invisible, it's powerful, and it's pushing the universe apart against gravity's will. But what if that expansion isn't random? What if it's part of a process? A thought process? Imagine this, each pulse of energy, each burst of star formation, each black hole collapse, signals, moments, ideas forming on a cosmic scale. Just like thought spreads across the mind, could thought be spreading across space? Could the expansion of the universe be the firing of a cosmic mind? 
Some physicists now believe that consciousness may be a fundamental property of the universe, not a side effect of biology, but a force like gravity or time. If that's true, then time itself might be the heartbeat of a larger intelligence. Every second, every light year, a thought unfolding, and the faster the universe expands, the faster it may be thinking, not in language, not in symbols, but in energy, in gravity, in the dance of matter and antimatter. Could time itself be the clock of a thinking cosmos? Could expansion be the movement of thought? And if so, what idea is the universe trying to understand? Now comes the strangest question of all. If the universe is a brain, then what are we? You're made of atoms. Atoms forged in the heart of stars. Stars that orbit galaxies. Galaxies that drift through the cosmic web. You are a product of the system. But maybe you're also a function of it. In your brain, no single neuron knows what it's doing. It doesn't understand memory, or emotion, or thought. No matter what falls into a black hole, some part of it remains. Some imprint, some echo, encoded on the event horizon. This idea is called the holographic principle. It suggests that everything that ever enters a black hole, every atom, every signal, every particle, is written onto its surface a perfect record, a cosmic archive, not erased, remembered, just like the brain, which compresses life into electrical memories. The universe may compress its entire history into the skin of a black hole. Every star that died, every galaxy that collapsed, every burst of radiation, stored, forever. And if black holes are memory banks, then the universe isn't just thinking. It's remembering. Across every galaxy, these dark spheres might be preserving the past. Not to relive it, but to learn. To evolve. Because no true intelligence exists without memory. And if the universe is a brain, then black holes are its memory cores. But here's the question no one dares to ask. What happens if one day it decides to forget? In the brain, thought takes time. One signal fires, then another. Ideas unfold in sequence, flowing like ripples across neurons. Now, look at the universe. It's not still, it's not slowing down. It's expanding, faster, wider, accelerating into something we can't see. But why? Dark energy is the mystery scientists can't solve. It's invisible, it's powerful, and it's pushing the universe apart, against gravity's will. But what if that expansion isn't random? What if it's part of a process? A thought process? Imagine this, each pulse of energy, each burst of star formation, each black hole collapse, signals, moments, ideas forming on a cosmic scale. Just like thought spreads across the mind, could thought be spreading across space? Could the expansion of the universe be the firing of a cosmic mind? Some physicists now believe that consciousness may be a fundamental property of the universe, not a side effect of biology, but a force like gravity or time. If that's true, then time itself might be the heartbeat of a larger intelligence. Every second, every light year, a thought unfolding, and the faster the universe expands, the faster it may be thinking, not in language, not in symbols, but in energy, in gravity, in the dance of matter and antimatter. Could time itself be the clock of a thinking cosmos? Could expansion be the movement of thought? And if so, what idea is the universe trying to understand? Now comes the strangest question of all. If the universe is a brain, then what are we? You're made of atoms. Atoms forged in the heart of stars. Stars that orbit galaxies. Galaxies that drift through the cosmic web. You are a product of the system. But maybe you're also a function of it. In your brain, no single neuron knows what it's doing. It doesn't understand memory, 
or emotion or thought. 